Rajpal Singh Pawar, is a member of the Executive Council. He was former member of the Finance Committee of the University. And very responsibly, he is taking up every issue that is related to the teachers and the university community. Dr. Seema Das uh, is in the forefront of taking up issues in the Executive Council continuously, consistently, and great amount of homework she is doing to put her viewpoint, she is meticulous, she is articulate, and, uh, and the vice chancellor, despite all opposition coming from her and Dr. Rajpal Singh, Mr. Rajpal Singh Power, all resolutions are being moved by these people. And but the vice chancellor in the last last to last executive council meeting mentioned that Dr. Seema Das makes a very good case for the university and university teachers. Despite all her fight and very bitter words are being exchanged. But the vice chancellor made this comment that speaks volume about the articulation and the commitment by our and salute to them. They stand there in the executive council for the teachers, for the cause of academics and for the best interest of higher education. They are in opposition to the NEP. They just justify the stand of permanent absorption. They stood like a rock when for the cause of permanent absorption when all others are making double, triple statements. They times welcome the advertisements. They support every policy that is reducing the workload. They will never bring about the EWS seats so that a justifiable distribution can take place. And in, even in the executive council, they are taking stands which is contrary to the interest of the ad hoc teachers. And at the same time, Dr. Seema Das and Rajpal Ji have been standing like a rock in defense of ad hoc teachers. Now, who has given some people some legitimacy to welcome when this is the Duta General Body's resolution to ask for permanent absorption? of every teacher. Where is the point of any discrimination that are after a particular age, are after a particular years of serving or that? Who has given them this, this sanction? This is going to spoil our case. And in this whole process, nobody will be benefited by it. और अल्टीमेटली ये सब का कॉज को नुकसान करेगा ये तय बात है दुख होता है इन सारा चीजों से जब एक कॉलेज जो दिल्ली विश्वविद्यालय का है कॉलेज ऑफ आर्ट्स जो फंडिंग तो ठीक है और गवर्नेंस और मेंटेनेंस इज बीइंग डन बाय द दिल्ली गवर्नमेंट लेकिन दिल्ली यूनिवर्सिटी को ही एफिलिएटिंग स्टेटस है एंड आवर फ्रेंड्स फ्रॉम नॉट टुडे from long time, they have taken quite a great lot of interest, both Rajpal Ji, Seema Das Ji, Rajesh Jha, Anand, everybody, they have been taking quite a lot of interest, going to every place that is possible to save this institution. And yesterday also I was told that they have taken a good stand on this issue and a couple of many other more issues and as Richa has rightly pointed out this is our uh, endeavor and effort 
to bring before you as responsible representatives and responsible teacher organization we do not believe in saying one thing and doing one thing whatever we say we do that this is the first principle on which the ad stands